Sega. Oh yeah, it's Sega. Raymond. Peter. Egon. Ah, and they sort of almost Where's look like from the movie. Uh, no Winston. No Winston in this game. Yeah, we are playing the Sega version of Ghostbusters. Yes, and it's now it's not even close to what the uh what the Nintendo version is like. This one is way better. Although the opening screen looks exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, this one's got blast processing and shit. Yeah, blast processing in that sweet, uh, Radio. that sweet Mega Drive uh, chip beat sound to chip it. Chip tune? Yeah, chip tune. Radiola Music Company. That sounds like one of those oldie time phonographs. Ray Liotta. Ray, no, could be Radiola. <laughs> no, anyway. Radiola. Uh, let's begin, because this is a, kind of a long game, I'm not going to lie. Oh, go oh here we go again. Oh, we're not going to go through that. Yeah. They've already seen it. Old news. We're just going to start the game. And, uh, yeah, these... What the hell happened to Egan? Remotely sort of look like the characters from the movie. Egan looked like he got punched in the face. I do wish that they would have had Winston in this. I don't know why they didn't include him. But we're going to play as my favorite Ghostbuster. Uh, Bill Murray. I mean, Peter Venkman. Peter Venkman, okay. Mine was always Egon, but that's because I'm a nerd. And this ain't no Dave Coulier Peter Venkman, either. Recently, there's been a lot of ghostly activity happening here and there. Not specifically. I wonder if the earthquake we had yesterday had anything to do with it. An earthquake in New York City? That would suck. If so, hey, thanks, your earthquake. I'll be busy again. Or we'll be busy again. Yeah, we'll have work. <laughs> Hello, help me, Ghostbusters! Ghosts have, ghosts have appeared in my house! I'm so scared I can't talk. <laughs> uh, and right into the action. Yeah, we're jumping right in. Uh, home sweet home. Mine all mine. <laughs> mine all mine. The tables move by themselves and the shelves fly around in the house. <gasps> I'm so afraid I can't sleep at night. I'm begging you, please help! Alright, we'll take an under advice. I've got about... I've just about got all you said. Don't worry. Leave it to the Ghostbusters. <laughs> and his shiny, shiny forehead. All right, Ghostbusters. Let's get out of here and take care of the business. All right. Yeah, I sound nothing like uh, Lorenzo music, sadly. I sound nothing like Egon, so I think you're perfectly okay. <laughs> uh, middle Ghost. Middle Ghost. Yeah, the one who's... I guess I had to hit the button. He's Middle Ghost. He's As you the, can uh... see, this is actually like a game. Wow. Yeah. It's 2D, you're side scrolling. It's action. Oh my word. Again, it sort of looks like uh Bill Murray, but not exactly. He's he's got like a giant like Funko Pop head. Well, you know, that's kind of the style for the time. Oh, bomb. Oh, don't want that. Kaboom. It's a very localized bomb, you know, it's just a little one. Oh yeah, it's it, it's uh it's it's local and artisan. Um, oh, now we chandeliers are never good news. No oh, yeah. else. Oh, I just missed it. Phew. Ooh. As you can tell, I've played a time or two. Hey, Slimer, what you got for us? You got a slave. Thank you. Yeah, Slimer's in this game. He's the one you shoot him with your little the uh, proton pack, and uh, he gives you either health or energy, and both are crucial in this game. Yes, they are. Ah, who are you? It's, uh, it's remember, the wall ghost. Remember me from the movie? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't remember uh, Venkman being uh, assaulted by uh, furry balls and what looks like fish eggs. Oh, oh down we go. Oh, Ow! Ah, okay. Oh, that sucked. Alright, why does this woman have spiky floors? That is a good question now that you mention it. I, in fact, I question this whole uh, interior decorating scheme right here. She's yeah, got, like, it just doesn't make sense. Got platforms and, and spiky floors. I mean, I get the aliens. The aliens aren't supposed to be here, but everything ah. else that. Everything else just makes no sense. All right, well, they're getting chintzy as fuck. I'm going to go back for health. Please get rid of the ghosts. Whatever you say, Shirley Long. All right. Shirley Long. I can buy my gyoza. Yes, this is a little item shop where you can buy things. And yes, they do have uh, what looks like little gyozas and... Yeah, I was going to say, they got gyozas. This this fills your health up when you're uh, at the station. Peking duck, which can fill your life up uh, when you're actually in the level. Huh. 
and they got the infrared scope, which uh, helps you see in the dark. You only need it in one level in the game. Figures. They got these bombs, which you can use at any time, and they, they go out and they blow. They blow. Um, yeah, they blow up, just like bombs. They're to. sort of useful for taking out, like, lots of minor enemies. And then you got the weapon shop. That's uh, to refill your energy. Ah. And it looks like, uh... Yeah, Doc Brown there. Yeah. Uh, you got explosive shot, you got a bubble shot, you got the phaser shell, a three-way shot, most valuable weapon in the game right there. Can't afford it yet, though. Yeah. These will increase your, uh, your energy capacity. Hmm. And this is, um, <laughs> the special suit. It's a little bit of a... That's supposed to be a suit. It reduces the damage, but it draws your down your power at the same time. Hmm. And then you got the barrier, which is uh, anyone's guess, really. <laughs> I've like uh, I've station. rarely saved up that much money for it. Yeah, because you blow it all on gyoza. Because you know this, <laughs> this game is, from what I've seen of earlier, it looks like a nightmare. Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, it, later levels are a real pain, but for what we're dealing with right now, it's not that bad. Ah! Quit. Right yes. off the bat, I already took damage. And of course, each of the Ghostbusters have different like stats. Like um, Peter moves normal, and he has about a normal amount of life. But like Egon has, Egon moves faster, and I think can jump higher. While Ray can't as much, but he has more life. Mm. And Egon has less life, I believe. Ah! Ow. Stupid chandeliers. So anyways, uh, a good way to get, like, a lot of this stuff early Hi, Slimer. is to go into the level, uh, get bonuses, and uh, every time you kill something, you get a little bit of money. Oh, watch out! But uh, you do this over and over and over again to grind your way to... Ooh, damn it. Ow! I'm doing, I'm doing terrible. But you do this for a while uh, so you can get better weapons. Because if you just go straight through, you'll never be able to afford anything. Right, well, you'll be able to afford, like, one or two things, just... But we want all of the things. We want we want most of the things. Because I'll, be, uh, I'll be straight with you. Uh, I think I've beaten this game one time, but it was on easy. Hmm. We're on normal. Seriously, why does she have floor spikes? Well, because she hates her guests. <laughs> Look, I would have floor spikes if I could get get away with it. I mean, I have, like, jacket spikes, but, you know, they don't ha aren't, like, as tall as tall as Venkman here and, you know, can hurt you if you, if you well, it may hurt you if you stepped on them, but not take, a, you know, damage and whatnot. What is with the damn fish eyes here? The fish eggs. All right, over here. This, one thing I don't like about this game is, like, when you're doing this... Dance, dance, it stops dance. you from moving. Oh, still shot. And due to the Sega's giant D-pad, it's pretty easy to act, to be running and all of a sudden you're like, oh, no, 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 I want to shoot at the ceiling real quick. More spikes. Ooh, anyway, so what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to, uh, through the magic of editing... Editing! Uh, we're gonna stop it here soon, and I am going to grind like a motherfucker for uh, probably the next 20 some years. <laughs> and uh, then we'll come back, and uh, we, we should have a, a lot more stuff than we have now, which is nothing. We have nothing right now. We have precisely zero things. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I'll see you folks uh, pretty soon. See you in 20 years. <laughs> Six Jahre später. Well, I think old Pete Vakeman's starting to crack up. He's just like kneeled in the corner there, shaking his head no. Should you do drugs, kids? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to grind no more. No, I just want to move on with this freaking game. Uh, all right. Well, we are back. I've grinded a bit. Uh, we've got the three-way shot, and we got this uh, elusive barrier item. It still looks like a space station. Ah, uh, do, do you folks want to see what it does? Ah, uh, you're gonna love this. It uh, it makes me invincible. However, it 
eats up my energy like no one's business. Yep, was it totally worth it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, time will tell. We'll uh, see. We also got a bunch of goggles and bombs, so we're all set to go. We got the three-way shot. I'll break that out a little bit later. But for yep. now, Moving on forward. with the show. Moving forward. At this level again. Now, I bet some of you are wondering how long we were grinding, and, uh, well, I don't want to... I don't want to give too much away, but it was the Obama administration when we started this this uh, game, so. <clears throat> All right. Go away, ghost. I ain't uh. afraid of you. Uh, once again, with the floating tableware. Hi, Slimer. Bye, Slimer. Uh. Well, hey, we got our energy back from that force field. Yeah, that thing eats through. As you can see, we have a lot more energy now, too, because I bought more of that stuff. Why in the world are they keeping lip bombs in the safes? Uh, it that, that was all the fashion back in 89. Uh, Your parents didn't keep a live bomb in a safe? No, they kept guns in theirs. Uh, well, sort of the same principle. One's armed, one's not. Uh, whatever. Anyways, let's go on. Uh, you, many of you might be wondering, did all that grinding bother me? No, no it did not, because busting makes me feel good. What the same Oh, hell? shit. I was not expecting that. Um, okay, so we have a living tuxedo, uh, the world's angriest chihuahua. Yeah. Wearing a napkin around his neck and holding tableware. What? The, uh. Yeah, and, uh, now it, we, we've, uh, all right. <laughs> well, that's what turkeys are for. I thought that was pecking duck. Oh, oh, Peking Duck, then. Yeah, it's like, hold on, uh, you crazy freak of... Oh. You crazy freak, uh, I gotta go eat some Chinese food. Oh, you might think that's the boss, but it's not. Uh-oh. No, nope, that ain't gonna work for me. Now you gotta capture this ghost, which is kind of tricky. Oh, Especially geez. when you point your uh, scope the wrong way. Or your uh, proton beam the wrong way. <laughs> oh, he might get away. He might get away, and that's going to be very, very, very embarrassing. Ugh. Come on, you bastard. Get in the trap. He got away. Son of a bitch. Normally, I'm better at that. Ugh. Oh, give me something good, Slimer. Ah, that's... Slimer knows me. He knows what I need. Slimer, he knows me, and he knows I'm right. All right, time for the big boss. Um. Yeah. What are you up to? You woke me up just when I was sleeping good. Uh, it's. I a... mean, when I'm tired. Oh, um, I mean, when I'm tired. Well. It's a sentient pine cone artichoke. What the fuck? All right. I was hoping that would work a little bit better, but it did not. Okay, he changed colors. It's one of those type of games. Oh no, he's got us in a corner. Oh, oh. we got us. We got out of there. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Maybe. We are out of ducks. Now, maybe it's time for the secret weapon. Got him. <laughs> oh, he is. He is not looking good. He's like. I'm a sad sentient artichoke. Turns out that uh, that shield, it's pretty good. <laughs> as long as you have a full energy bar, I guess. Ah, uh, poor Pete. Pete's, poor Pete's not taking this well. Oh, he dropped a... Now he's dancing a jig and looks nothing like himself. Ghost Cops busts 15th Street spook. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, we're busting now. Thank you very much. This is a token of my gratitude. Now I can sleep soundly. Okay, is paying your bill hopefully? Yeah, it was. Yep. Did you see that power? If a ghost tangles with me, it'll be his last mistake. We've got some money, so let's party. All Strange, you know when I took that ghost, this stone appeared. Huh. 
Looks like a chocolate bar. Ah, it looks like a piece of a stone tablet. It looks really like looks it's... really old. There's some letters inscribed on it. Well, I think there's a way we can read it. It will just take a little time. He used to use Duolingo. It's time we get back to work. <laughs> We've got clients waiting. I, I cannot do all these fucking voices on the fly. <laughs> Let's get to it, Ghostbusters. Uh, I'm certain people appreciate that I'm dropping that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, I got my peeking duck. Got my got bomb. Got my bomb. I don't think we can afford anything else. No, we are... No, no. Oh, we could buy the bubble shot. Do we want the bubble shot? No, we don't want the bubble shot. All right, let's just start the level. Apartment money. The Four apartment. Grand. Right now, I'm living in an apartment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I woke up this morning, the place was full of water. I've got just about what you said. Don't worry, leave it to the Ghostbusters. All right, Ghostbusters, let's get out of here and take care of business. Middle Ghost, all right. Oh, yay, an ace level. Yeah. So we're... This is his apartment? Yeah, this is uh, this is his apartment. Pretty sweet, huh? It's a, I mean, yeah. It's, it's a very spacious apartment, especially for New York. Yeah, this has got to be one of those multi-million-dollar apartments, and yet they only want to charge us four grand. What a cheapskate! And you know it's an ice level because they're playing the little dinky music. All right, shoot this. Oh, I see the fish eye ghosts are back. Yep. Or not fish eye, fish egg. That's why I got the spread shot out. These fuckers are kind of hard to predict. Yeah, where are they going to go? Where are they going to jump? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? All right, where do we go? Well, you know what? We'll get this one real quick. Oof. Money. Okay, we have ice golems. Yep, ice golems. It's like we're playing a tabletop game. Nearum. Right. All them suck having to crawl over an icy area. Ugh. Get ice all over your clothes and it's cold and it makes your, it stings your skin. It must right. suck. I'm not gonna fart around with that ice golem yet. We're gonna go swimming! I got a squid to fight. Uh, it's he ghost squid. He only had three tentacles. Scariest of all the squid. Well, I guess it was a, a trichtopus. Yeah, I think that's the best way to say it. <laughs> the spooky, spooky trichtopus. Come on, back when you gotta shoot the other way. There you go. Randomly appearing icicles? Why the hell not? Of course, you have an ice level, you gotta have icicles. Ooh, that was tricky. Deadly spiky icicles. Spooky, scary icicles. Yeah, because the greatest threat in uh, this level is hypothermia. Oh, I see we're in the freezer. And we have... Um... I, ice... Dippin' Dots. Ice pick ghosts? <laughs> yeah, apparently so. That randomly spawn. Worst part about this is you cannot turn around while you're crawling. I guess that's a little bit realistic, but yeah, especially it's a good way to get fucked, that's for certain. Such narrow of a tunnel, you, you can't really turn around. Yeah, because, you know, we have to have realism in our our uh, video game about busting ghosts. Well, busting does make them feel good. But realism, not so much. All right. Let's go up here. Hi, Ice Golems. Hi, Slimer. Bye, Slimer. Nah, didn't get them, however, we'll be fine. We got full health, we got mostly full energy. We got a banshee to fight. A what? Oh yeah, that's definitely a banshee. A banshee See, who this can... is tricky, when she splits into three, you gotta figure out which one's the real one. Ah, uh, can't hit her from behind. No. I know from experience. Can't shoot her in the ass. Ow! No. Yeah, because apparently banshees like freezers. 
Come on, get over here and say that. All right, now she's wearing a yellow dress. Got a hair dye. Yeah. Hair dyed. All these bosses go through three color transitions. Because early video games. Well, that's how you can tell how, you're, how much you're damaging them. So we got her about halfway right now. Oh, she's orange. Ah, so she's on the ropes. She's a third of the way. Ah! Got her. All right. All right. In the you trap, motherfucker. Get you this time. Oh no, he's got me. Come on, come here. And in the trap. Gotcha. I got it. I got it. Oh, Ooh, looks this looks nothing. <laughs> looks more like Brian Doyle Murray than Bill Murray. Yeah. All right, we don't need that no more. No, we could stick with single shits for now. Hi, Slimer. Hi, Slimer. Hi, Slimer. Ah. Oh, it robbed me. Yes, it did. Stupid ice golems. Well, let's try this. You motherfucker. Yeah, because the ice golems always come when Slimer shows up. <laughs> hey, come back here. Slimer. Sweet. Sweet, sweet I life. didn't know you could pull that off. I'll take it. Because we choose life. I think if you... Yep, there we go. Alright, and you got energy. Oh yeah, this is paying off. I feel like a ghostbuster. Well, I sure hope so. You're dressed like one. No Winston, though. Yeah, like, that, I don't get that. I guess I, I ran out of room. I don't get it either. It, the only thing I can guess is, is that, like, uh, the creators of the game did what we did that one time. They just watched the first 30 minutes of Ghostbusters. Oh, of course. They were like, yeah, there's only three of them. They are like, okay, I get it. It's about uh, three guys starting up a business, and uh, I don't remember how the rest goes. I think it ended with the credits. <laughs> it always ends with the credits. It is funny. If you ever uh, decide for something fun to do and you've got no time on your hands, uh, just watch the 30, first 30 minutes of Ghost, Ghostbusters. And try to imagine what your thoughts would be on it as a movie, having only seen the first 30 minutes. It, it is a whole different movie. Yeah. It's just like, well, three guys start a business. They, uh, Three guys see a, see a ghost. They get kicked out of college. And uh, then they start a business, and it fails. The end. I wonder if you could do that with any Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> just... Oh, shoot. I'm probably going to want this and... There we go. Oh, we got a big ice golem. Oh. Oh, he's a dick. Oh, he is a dick, too. I hate this guy. Of course you hate him. He's a golem. Okay. And he does that stupid swing thing that is absolutely unavoidable. No, it's avoidable. You just have to... Ah! I tried to avoid it. All right. Yummy, yummy duck. There it is. Okay, we got out of the way that time. See? You got a duck when he does it. Gotcha! Right. Come here, you little bastard! Uh, right there. Come on! Come on down! Oh, we got him! You're the next contestant on Ghost Trapped Our Right! I got it! He's Cut it out! I'm Dave Coulier. He's looking at that ghost trap like it has stink lines coming out of it. Like, ew, this ghost smells! All right. Uh, should we go for the boss or should we go back for Peking Duck? Uh, we we got two lives. Let's go back for Peking Duck. Yeah, cause it wouldn't hurt. Ugh. I have never had Peking Duck or Peking or however you say it. I heard it's a pain in the ass to make. Uh, I'd imagine. Cause the thing about uh, Peking Duck, if I remember correctly, is. You have to air dry out the duck first because the best part of picking duck is the skin. Because the skin is really, if you make it right, the skin is really crispy and really good. Well, if you have terrible pecking duck, it's chewy and gross and yuck. Well, ducks do have very fatty skin. 
and uh, so apparently to get that yummy yummy crispy skin on a pecking duck you have to dry out the whole duck before you uh, before you cook it all right any duck shit here no I mean I kind of get how the structure works with just three of them because you know one's got even stats one's got like faster but more power stats and then the others got slower but y you know what I mean yeah Once but I don't know I, d I just don't know why they didn't include Winston in this it might have been a limitation thing but I doubt it hey we're here to get duck we can get the special suit too though that special suit is actually very handy ah and we'll get some gyoza for the road. Yep, a little snack. Don't forget the dipping sauce. I love gyoza. Me too. Oh. It's good stuff. It's got what plants crave. That's Brondo. I know it doesn't. Um. Well, I imagine gyoza has what plants crave as well. Uh, well, what assume? Yes, those... It's full of MSG and electrolytes, right? No, that's... Ugh. That's the thing about Brondo, they kept fading it to the plants, and that's why all the plants kept dying, was because of the electrolytes. Spoiler alert for Idiocracy! Ah, uh, just spoiled the movie for everyone. Oh, it's, it's an... I'm sure if you haven't watched it by now, they'll eventually watch it, and then they'll be like, Yeah, she was right! Ha! Joke's on all of them, nobody watches these videos. Ugh, God damn it! that's why I hate those motherfuckers. Stupid bouncy fish eyes, fuck you. Alright, now to make our way all the way through this incredibly spacious apartment. I'm still amazed by how spacious it is. With lots of ladders, too. Yeah, you know, you probably got to deal at, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot or something where he's just like, I'm going to keep all these ladders in my apartment. You never know when you're going to need them. <laughs> I'll start my own contracting business. And then the ghost shows up and freezes everything, and they're like, Ah, I'm gonna put evil energy throughout this whole apartment, but first I'm gonna use these ladders. Because we're not gonna, you know, waste them. I think the shockwave would have killed me on that. Yeah, it would have. Because that's the thing about explosives. It's not the impact that kills you. I mean, it might injure you. But it's the shrapnel... Uh, surrounding it that will kill you. Uh, the same goes with tornadoes. The actual impact of the tornado will not... Uh, might injure you, but it's actually the shrapnel from the spinning funnel that will kill you. Alright, you guys are dead. That's sort of like going to the hospital. It's not the, it's not the ailment that'll kill you. It's the bill. Especially if you don't have insurance. Damn straight. Or your insurance is just like, nah, we're not gonna cover that. Good luck, fucker. Yeah. Have fun selling a kidney to pay for your previous uh, hospital bill. Uh, let's see. I think we'll go with that and that. Snow. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Do oh, you dude, humans you... think you can challenge me? Ha ha ha! You don't know my power. Go for it, you little runts. I'll skewer you in the bargain. Uh, skewer well, you? Oh, we're fighting Jack Frost. We're fighting the evil snowman from uh, that one Doctor Who Christmas special. I have to say, this is one of the scarier foes in here. Oh, thank God I got this barrier up. Oh, you jerk. I hate you, snowman. He doesn't like us either. Although I will say that he's got one of the cooler color schemes here. Now he's a toxic snowman! Somebody peed on him. They made a snowman out of the toxic snow. They're like, We're, we got all the snow from the uh, the parking lot. Or that kind of really icy snow that you get right, you know, in early April when all the good snow is melted. Oh, just frickin' die already! Oh, he's a snow cone now! He's an orange... He's an orange snow comb. He's a dreamsicle. He's an orange Julius. 
Come oh, on. You're a failing store at a mall. How embarrassing. <laughs> you're owned by Dairy Queen. Oh, I got a tablet. Oh, uh, doing a jig. Yeah, this tab is so powerful, it refilled our energy barrier. Ghost cops bust 18th Street spook. Oh, man, this stuff stinks. You really saved me. I want you to have this. The Ghostbusters are for real, and I'm grateful. Oh, he's happy. He's smiling. He's not freezing anymore. Good point. You can have your giant apartment back. I'm doubly grateful for that. At last, the second stone piece is in our hands. It says Maine, Taiwan. I'm gonna stay glued to this stone tablet. If we, we could track the tablet's message, I think the riddle can be solved. But it'll be impossible if all the pieces of the tablet are not in place. That's right. And the day of the earthquake was the day when the energy of the ghosts was concentrated in the city. The energy level is increasing every day. That's some big Twinkie. Yeah, no kidding. No wonder the ghosts are starting to play rough. <laughs> starting to? All right. Uh, well, hey, you know what? On that note, end of the episode. Yes, it is. And from Ghostbusters for the Genesis, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And have a good day, everyone.